Okay, I'm reloaded. Big Dad Pacino here. This is going to be show and tell 191. I was actually supposed to do an odds and ends video, but I decided to change it around because I was already late. I'm already late, I should say, um, with doing video anyway. I was supposed to put one out Wednesday, but I worked. It was Emancipation Day. Oh, they call it Juneteenth, too. National holiday now. And uh, work in a museum, so I didn't feel like it. Then I worked yesterday coming back. We were very busy, so yeah, I decided to get it out today. And I was lucky to have a haul. I put out a, a pet hunting video at Target where I got these hauls from. Some of it, I don't know. It's like at one time, those videos were hot. And they were guaranteed 100 views out the gate. I don't know. Maybe it's because of the copyright trademark uh, problems that it got blocked in some areas. Uh, I guess of the world, I should say. Some some places. Um, even though I'm not monetized, so it don't hurt me like that. But, yeah, algorithms, man. I'm still trying to figure it out maybe i'll never figure them out i'm just trying to give you what i think the people who my subscribers mainly what y'all like so let's get continue this is a whole show and tell 191 um uh, again with some stuff i found at harris teeter the other day i was in there just to hit the atm i had to work they had this uh these matchbox. They had a nineteen forty one Willie's Jeepster. I don't think I have this one. I hope I don't. And it's in blue. It's a pretty cool cast. I see headlights, tail light details. It's got the fifth wheel on the back. Convertible. And it's from the uh, MBX Highway series. So that's pretty cool. This just main line, so we're gonna put these down. Dang. And got this bad boy, new t for 2024. Porsche 911 Target 4. The cards ripped. Maybe somebody tried to get in there. I hope I don't hide this one. I think I got the convertible Porsche. The matchbox to either Hot Wheels or similar. And this is from Porsche 911 Targa. They never put the year up there. Very rarely. They did on the last one. This is a Porsche 911 Targa 4, like I said. And this is MBX Showroom. New new uh, casting. Looks pretty good. Tail light details. Headlight details. I collect them Porsches, so. And this, this was what first caught my attention this is uh no i definitely don't got this and they're not saying this is new for tw 2024 so they did this casting before it's a mercedes-benz amg sl63 i got one similar but i swear i don't know where that is i think i put it up But that one's a hard top. And it's not an S. It's a just a it's just a S class. This is the convertible. I don't remember seeing this casting out before. Even though the Benz looks more like a Beamer now. I don't know why they did that? They changed the shape. I guess this is more arrow. Looks clean though. Headlight, tail light details. Grill. 
with the emblem, the emblem in the grill. Big man's emblem, throwback. Back to the 560 SL. That's pretty neat. I like it a lot. And this is MBX showroom too. And last but not least out of this uh, Harris Tita main line matchbox hole, we got the 2012 BMW 3 Series Tour. Tail lights, grill done. See the Benz emblem. Tail lights done. And I said in countless videos, Matchbox can give Hot Run Wheels a run for their money. In my opinion, they do more realistic looking castings. And they're, to me, they're kind of better. And to be honest, two of the best designers Hot Wheels has had started out probably more. I think there's a couple others. But June Ame and the late great Rio Asada both started off at Matchbox before they moved on to Hot Wheels. Of course, they got the same parent company, Mattel. So. And this is MB, uh, on the BMW 3 Series Touring. It's from, I guess this is, is this a highway? Yeah, this is uh, MBX Highway. When I was at Target a few days before, I picked up a few things. Uh, one of them was this M Matchbox Collectors. It's a 1974 Toyota Celica GT Liftback. It's pretty cool. Like, front bumper is blacked out or kind of non-existent. So, it's kind of similar to this. It's the Hot Wheels version. More racy theme. And this is a custom that was customized for me as a gift by, uh, um, yeah, Diecast Clown. Yeah. Cardboard Garage. So, check out his channel. He painted and everything. So, I guess this is the more later model because I think this is a 1970-72. This is a 1974 Toyota Celica GT left back. Can't wait to open this. I don't think it has opening parts. It's just collectors. More detail. Headlight detail, tail light detail. It's really nice, man. Stuff like this, you can only get stuff like this at first from Tomica or KO Show, and it would cost you an arm and a leg. Even though some Tomicas popped up in Toys R Us before I started collecting, and then recently they popped up in uh, Target. Because the, the, that company and Majorette, I think, are owned by the same people. Or Jada Toys. One of the two. And um, I guess they tested the waters and then they started putting their stuff in there. But I don't think it was successful. At least not in my area. Because I haven't seen any of them in like two years. And it was just the entry level. Tomica. But this is pretty cool. I'm glad they're doing vintage JDM. I have a Mitsubishi. I think this is Mitsubishi that they did. It's a Lancer, yeah. 19, I forgot. This is a 1970s model too. Late 70s, early 80s. JDM vintage. Hey, that's pretty cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Um I was able to, I'm showing them other stuff. 
um, able to find some of these exotic envies from Hot Wheels Premium, which has been a drought, I think, for at least close to six months at um, my target. If you found them, they were being snatched up. And I think the most important ones were snatched up. I was lucky to find a BMW M1 Pro car. And another one you're going to see here. That Porsche was nowhere to be found. The Aston Martin was there. And it was, uh, and the McLaren was there. I had to make a decision. I couldn't get all three because I got that. And you, you'll see I got some green light too when I was at Target. So I was able to get the Lamborghini Revenge and Roaster from that same set. Like I said, two of them, nowhere to be found. I didn't want that uh, Aston Martin V12 Speedster. I don't know, it's something. It looks okay, but just don't do it for me. And since I couldn't have a complete set, you know what I'm saying? Um, past, I would go online and try to complete the set, but he would charge too much nowadays, so... My Porsche looks okay. It's nothing to write home about. I have other Porsches in my in my collection, premium ones, so I'm not that pressed. You know. If I find it, I find it. If I don't, I don't. I'm getting to be that way. Especially with Hot Wheels. They're premium lines. Um next found some uh Johnny this is Johnny Lightning. I think both of them Johnny Lightning. I said green light. They're both Johnny Lightness. Uh, got this 2001 Chevy Corvette Z06 from the uh, John. This a it's a newer series RPM transmissions. And I really like these. They got limited edition. They don't do the uh, the numbers no more on a lot of them. Usually right here would tell you one of you know twelve thousand or one of you know whatever you've seen it before, but I like it, man. The mismatched wheels definitely like these older vets. These these vets, I like these. I almost bought one of these. Or I should say I was looking at one of these a convertible one, but I sat in it. I didn't like the way it felt. So I got something more practical. So, and this is older stock too. Apparently this is, this is from 2022. Release 2. Of course we all know around that time what was going on. The pandemic had just happened. I think, I think it happened. What? 2021 definitely. We were still in the pandemic. I think we were coming out of the pandemic by then, but stuff was so backed up. And already before the pandemic, they were doing that at my target location anyway. So just gave me a straight overview because this is old stock. But I don't have this and I collect vets, so I jumped on it. Next, we have this... Uh, Johnny Lightning Trivial Pursuit series and it's a uh, Monster Dragula even though I, I wanted the Monster Coach from that show for years and when you see them online people want arms and legs but this is pr pretty cool like it's made like a coffin and I think George Barris did this the famous car customizer pretty cool I like it yeah something that for all this area right here my pop I got my uh, DeLorean time machine from back to the future kit it needs to be dusted off over there Herbie I think the bat what is that the bat wing or oh, the bat I think that is the bat mobile from the last Batman movie um, that's a halo 
I think it's called a, is it called an armadillo? The Halo vehicle from that video game. Warthog. It's a warthog. And uh, the Batman braving the boat. Uh, what is it? Uh, Scooby-Doo mashup. The old school Batmobile. Fast and Furious called. Four Speed Racer. You can see the rest. That's on back here. Snoopy. Spider-Mobile. Um, the Flintstone Mobile. Thunder Tank. Another DeLorean. Different DeLorean. Um, the, um, what's that? Uh, dang, the Garage. Um, what's his name? Gas Monkey Garage Corvette. Um, this, I guess this Muscle Bruiser is from the game. The Fast and the Furious. They had, they did a Fast and the Furious online called Game. I guess it was a game and it was a, a cartoon on Netflix. And that's the what the lead character drove. I think it's called Muscle Tone or something. Fantasy caster for Hot Wheels. And this bad boy, the Mystery Machine. And a tuned uh, Fast and the Furious Charger. I think that's James Bond on the right. Or Fast and Furious. Jason Strahan, James Bond or Marge or something. Yeah. This is pretty cool. So it fits in with that theme. So and again, old stock. So 2022. I don't know what happened in 2022. Why stuff just coming in? Some of the stuff I'm gonna see. I like to get that 1980 Toyota Land Cruiser. That's pretty cool. I got the shooting star right here. That's right, right there in that in that uh, trailer. That's pretty cool. And that's it. It's show and tell one ninety one. I want to thank the subscribers for always holding me down. I, that's mainly who I do these videos for. And then, if any random viewers come across this channel. I encourage you to subscribe, hit the notification button, leave a comment behind a like, behind or a dislike. You know, um, the model of this channel, like I always say, it's not the best diecast channel, it's not the worst either. And the other model is, it's about showing a little love for the diecast, just the hobby. Not always getting the chases, just appreciating the art behind these designers making these great castings and collecting them. With that said, I'm out. Peace and blessings.